It's time to think like a game dev. The relationship between physical objects in your game can be defined by vectors or by common vector operations. For example, if you need to know the direction a character should look in order to face a particular target, you can get the vector representing that direction by subtracting the position of the character from the position of the target. You can then feed the resulting vector to the character's look at method to face the target. If you want to see if the target can see the character, subtract the target's position from the character's position and normalize the resulting vector. Then, take the dot product of that vector and the enemy's viewing angle. If the dot product is greater than zero, the angle between the target and the character is less than 90 degrees, which means that the target can see them. You can also check the length of the vector returned when subtracting the positions of the two objects to see if one is within range of the other. Godot has a number of helper methods to streamline this process. For starters, the normalized direction vector from one object to another can be found using the direction to method. And of course, finding the dot product requires calling the dot method. And finally, the length of a vector is accessed, of course, via the vector's length method.